Hello, book reading friends. Are you here? And today we're going to read a book named Pipsy, Nature Detective, The Disappearing Caterpillar. Her name is Pipsy and his name is Alfred. And let's start reading. This is one of my favorite books and we're going to read Pipsy, Nature Detective. It was a beautiful morning at Pipsy's house. Pipsy wiped the sleepy from her eyes and looked at Alfred Z. Turtle. She saw something so silly. She had to rub the sleepies from her eyes again. Alfred had a row of stripes right down the middle of his head. Pipsy looked at him closely. Alfred, I think you're turning into a tiger. Alfred walked over to his mirror slowly. That's how turtles walk. And looked up. As sure as the shell on his back, there were yellow and black stripes on his head. Pipsy took out her magnifying glass. After all, she was a nature detective. It's a baby caterpillar, she said. She's smiling at me. And she has big blue eyes and the cutest dimples. That's Franny. Hi, my name is Franny, the caterpillar, said, the caterpillar said, can I be your friend? That would be excellent, Pipsy replied. I love making new friends, and Alfred does too. Pipsy, Alfred, and Franny became excellent friends. For the next week, they played silly games like, I'm Franny, I'm Franny. I'm Franny. You look good in stripes, Alfred. One morning, Pipsy woke up extra early, ready to play, but Fran Franny was had vanished. Where could she be? Pipsy wondered. Alfred, we have a mystery to solve, Pipsy said. Without a doubt, we'll figure this out. Let's go. Pipsy and Alfred looked in dark and icky places. She's not in here. Be you, we. And sweet and sticky places. Wowie, I love peanut butter and jelly. Alfred looked inside Pippi's Pipsy's hat. Pipsy looked inside Alfred's shell. No Franny anywhere. Pipsy, but no Franny. Pipsy climbed up to her detective treehouse to get her nature detective tools. Put on your detective cap, Alfred. It's time to hunt for clues. Franny liked the garden. Let's start there. Can we start with lunch instead? He's looking too hungry. Look, Alfred, these leaves are all chewed up. I bet Franny ate them. I have a nose for clues. In this smells like a clue. We need to find out more about these leaves. Follow me. Admission. I have a nose for lunch, and those leaves smell delicious. Insects and admission. And they're heading to the zoo. Pipsy and Alfred went to the insect garden at the zoo to learn more about the leaves. They saw a plant exactly like the one in Pipsy's yard. It was called milkweed. Wow, caterpillars sure love milkweed, Pipsy said. Hey, Alfred, you can't eat that. That's our clue. Finally, lunchtime. Oh, man. I wonder what that green dangly thingy is, Pipsy said. That's a chrysalis, said a man with a colorful badge. Alfred read the badge. It said, ask me about bugs. 
We're looking for our friend Franny the Caterpillar, Pipsy said. Can you help us? We met her two weeks ago, and last night she vanished. Poof, gone. Look for a chrysalis like this, the man said. Keep watching it and you'll find Franny, but she'll look very different. Come on, Alfred, let's make this mystery history. Pipsy and Alfred rushed home slowly, because that's how turtles rush. I guess that's why he has a scooter. And they found a chrysalis hanging in their backyard. They checked it every day for nine days. On the tenth day, Pipsy looked at it real close. A Menard's butterfly came flying out. Pipsy looked at a, the butterfly's big blue eyes. Then she noticed the cute dimples. Look, Alfred, it's our Franny. We found her. Look, I can fly. Wow, it is Franny. Another mystery is history. Now let's eat. Man, he's too hungry. Chrysalis, case closed. Butterfly. Here, fun facts. Only in two weeks, a baby monarch caterpillar grows several thousand times its size. Then it goes into a chrysalis and becomes a butterfly. 2. The female butterfly is larger than the male butterfly. 3. Most caterpillars eat variety of plants. plant leaves. Monarch caterpillars only eat milkweed leaves to grow. When they become monarch butterflies, they eat the nectar from many other flowering plants, including milkweed. Milkweed can be poisonous to other insects and birds, but not to monarchs. In fact, it protects them. After the monarchs eat the milkweed, it makes them taste really bad. Some birds might throw up if they try to eat the monarch. 4. Caterpillars love to eat. They'll even eat the shell they hatch from. 5. Caterpillars eat so much and grow so fast that their skin gets too tight. They shed their skin five times so they can keep growing. Did you know that butterflies taste with their feet? When they land on a flower, they can tell if it will be good for them to eat. Continue the fun with Pipsy at www.pipsynaturedetective.com. The end.